Hi everyone, welcome to Dundas Dashboard How-To Videos. This video is on how to create and use templates. This video will demonstrate how to successfully create a template and apply it to a dashboard to help design similar dashboards more efficiently. Now, let's get started. As we can see here, we have two dashboards, revenue and sales. At this current time, they are plain in terms that are functional but not eye-pleasing. Since both dashboards display similar things and we want to integrate our company's colors and logo, we can create a template for a dashboard once and then half of both of these dashboards use it. Let's create a template to see how it will work. First, we want to decide whether we want our template to be project shared or instance shared. In most scenarios, we would want it to be project based. So let's create a template with a project shared options. To create a template, simply expand the project resources, hover over dashboard templates and click on the ellipse button and then select new dashboard template. Give it an appropriate name. A template will have all properties that a dashboard itself has, plus all general controls can be added. In this scenario, let's make our dashboard 600 by 600. Let's change the background from white to orange. Let's add an image of our logo. And let's add a label saying template. Since we're satisfied with our template now, let's save this and check it in. Now, let's add it to our dashboards. Edit the dashboard's properties. And under Appearance property, change the template from None to our newly made template. Note how we are able to see our template in the background and how some of the dashboard's properties became unclickable. This is because the template is essentially the dashboard itself. If we want to change some property now, we would need to edit the template itself and not the dashboard. Remember, you can still add objects to the dashboard, you just can't change the properties of the dashboard itself. Let's preview this to see how it would look like. Now, let's add the template to our other dashboard to see how it would look like. Again, to add the template to the dashboard, you will need to edit the dashboard and under the Appearance property, change the template from None to the desired template. Let's preview this. And as we can see here, it looks as we would expect it to. Just now, we virtually designed two dashboards for the price of one with the use of a template. For more information on what we discussed in this video can be found on our support site, support.dundas.com. Some key articles are shown on the screen now. Please feel free to visit them 
and read up on the information. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please visit our support site at support.dundas.com or contact us by email or by phone, which are shown on the screen. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for upcoming videos.